There have been times in my life that I have been so upset, so consistently, for so long, that I think that I'm going insane. And indeed, by most modern Western psychological metrics, I am regularly some mild level of mentally ill. Mental illness has a terrible reputation in our society, and it causes us so much pain that it's easy to forget that unlike other things we like to call diseases like malaria or cholera, mental illness has a functional purpose. It's easy to forget that our mental illness is actually a part of who we are, a part of us that evolved to protect us when times get tough. It's easy to forget that things just get particularly difficult during some periods of a lifetime, and so it's easy to blame ourselves for the times when we feel terrible, or the times when we respond to a difficult situation in a not-so-optimal way. It's easy to forget that, a lot of the time, we just need to allow ourselves to feel crappy, because being in a crappy situation results in feeling crappy feelings. And it's easy to convince ourselves that our situation isn't actually that terrible, because there are so many other people in the world who have it so much worse than we do. But I think that when we feel terrible, it's for a good reason, and it's not just that our brains are systematically malfunctioning. It might be true that our emotional response to certain situations could be better adapted to modern life, and could cause us less pain if we were just wired a little bit differently. But it causes us even more pain to let the fact that our stress response is a bit over-enthusiastic blind us from remembering that we are stressed because some parts of life are just unusually stressful and the world is extraordinarily unfair. So don't beat yourself up for being anxious all the time. I've started to try to think about my anxiety as if it's my body's cloudy way of telling me that it loves me. It's an irrational, terrible kind of love, but it's love nonetheless. One part of me cares about me so much that it's willing to do absolutely anything to keep me out of harm's way. And because of that part's intense concern, sometimes Maybe most of the time, I feel shitty. But when I have enough time to sit and think about it, I can remember that there is something deep inside me that loves me, all consumingly. It just doesn't know the best way to express it yet. But it's learning. So just keep on going, going. It's all we can do, really. Live. Things will get better. With time.